Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunderous Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. I have got an absolute gorgeous day upon me today and I was sitting at home saying I wonder what the fishing is like. Well I'll tell you what folks, if you don't go, you don't know. And that's, the, that's what I always say and uh, so I figured you know what, I'm going to find out. And by doing so I grabbed my, I grabbed my rod and I grabbed my, uh, a handful of lures and I like to go with whenever I'm fishing, whether it's lures or plastic, today I'm using the Sting Eye Spinner, and I'm going to open up with the Silver Sting Eye Spinner today. Um, but I always bring a handful of different colors, and the reason is sometimes fish are dialed in on one color more than others, and it also depends on the situation. So I opened up with silver because of the sun. It's kind of sunny, a little cloudy. I could have went with gold, but the water's clear, so I decided to go with silver. Now, if I don't get a bite, let's say within, within a half an hour, I'll change the lure color and I'll try a different color. So I'll keep trying different colors until I figure out what they want. And here's the other thing. See that little bit of weed there on the, on the lure? It's caught up on my snap there. Well, you know what? If you want to catch fish, you got to keep those lures crystal clean. If you maybe want to catch fish, then leave the, leave the weeds on there. <laughs> So I always, always, always keep my lure as clean as possible, keep it as natural as possible, and uh, you'll have a better, better chance at hooking into a fish. So, gorgeous day. I'm gonna work this Sting Eye Spinner. I'm looking for trout today. Uh, I'm actually hoping to get into a lake trout. We'll see how that goes. And, uh, but if not, I'm just gonna enjoy the day one way or another. So, so glad you could join me, folks. Stay tuned. <laughs> you know what? It never fails. Every time that Whirlpool jet decides to show up, I get a hit. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Okay, so it looks like my strategy is paid off. Although it was my first color choice today. Doesn't always happen that way, but it happened today. And it gave me a nice, nice bite, which is really great. Now I am using a seven and a half foot rod, uh, medium, medium power. And I'm running the brand new Thunder Braid. I've got 15 pound Thunder Braid and a fluorocarbon leader, also 15 pound. We got some wave action here thanks to that Whirlpool jet boat. <laughs> That's okay, I don't mind. Uh, I got my uh, Crocs on, so I'm good to go. But yeah, he just gave me a nice bite. Now, you gotta remember when you're fishing with, with braided line, when you feel that hit, just give a little hook set. You don't want to really rip it like you do with mono or fluoro because you'll rip the lure right out of their mouth. You've got absolutely no stretch, no give. Oh, he's right on the shoreline. And you got to be very, very careful when you set the hook. And when you're playing the fish, you got to always, always, always keep the plate line. Otherwise, they will shake it. Shake it loose. Okay, feels like a decent fish. I'm hoping it's a nice lake trout. We shall see. Okay. Now this is where a lot of fish are lost, right here. You can't get, see he's still really green. He's nowhere near being tired. So you can't get overly excited and try to land the fish or horse him in because a good chance to lose that fish. Wow, that whirlpool jet really, really caused a ruckus here on the shoreline. <laughs> I had that happen last year. Every time the whirlpool jet came by, just coincidental, obviously. Oh yeah, I got a nice lake trout. Got myself a beautiful, beautiful lake trout. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this fish. Oh yes. Oh yes. Almost. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't think you like the net. He did not like the net at all. Oh, that was something. Like I said, he's still green. Still green. 
gorgeous fish, though. I don't know if you got a chance to see them. But just a beautiful lake trail. Nice coloration. That's what it's all about right there, folks. This is very, very rewarding fishing. Easy fishing and rewarding fishing. All right, we're going to try this again. Oh, I'm going to lose my net. All right, Mr. Laker. This time, he's in the bag. That's a beautiful, beautiful lake trout right there. Wow, relatively big too. But no problem, 15 pound test line, very, very strong. And the reason I like to use braid in a case like this, you can pack a lot of line on your reel because it's really, really thin line and uh, it's great on uh, spinning reels. All right, I need a photo for Instagram and Facebook. We're gonna get this guy released. Beautiful lake. All right, let's take a better look at this fish. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous lake trout, folks. Absolutely gorgeous. And there he is. That's a nice size laker right there. Isn't that a beautiful lake trout? Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Right here, boatless angling, right from the shoreline. Beautiful fish, nice reward for me. That's outstanding, that's a beauty, beautiful, beautiful lake trout. And we're gonna let this guy right back in the water again. Thick fish, look how thick and wide it is here. Really, really thick and wide. Okay, he wants to go. See you later, Laker. Yeah, that's what I call a beautiful, beautiful release. But like I said earlier, folks, you don't know if you don't go. Get out there, get a line wet, have some fun. This is just great fishing. Beautiful day. Enjoying the scenery, enjoying the fishing. Doesn't get any better than that. I want to thank you wherever you're tuning in from today for joining me and spending time with me on today's boatless episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. Love it.